Mr. Kaczynski here, working through IXL's 8th grade math skills, section P, uh, finding coordinates after reflections today. All right. Actually, I'm going to concentrate on the rules as best I can today, maybe introduce a little bit of math today. So a reflection over the x-axis, um, when that's the case, xy is going to turn into... Well, actually, your x value will stay the same, and your y value becomes opposite. So when we have a point like g, which is at 6, 4, then g prime would mean that your x value stays 6, and your y value becomes opposite, and that's negative 4. 6, negative 4 would be right here. All right, moving on. How about um, a reflection over the y-axis? That is where your, if you have a point in the form x, y, which they all are, then your x value actually becomes opposite and your y value stays the same. So with a point like d, which is at negative 3, 4, d prime, would be x value becomes opposite, negative 3 becomes the opposite of negative 3, which is positive 3. y value stays the same. So 3, 4, which would be right here. All right, reflection over the line y equals x. A little bit more complicated here, and that's why I wanted to repeat it a few times with this shape. Uh, that's where xy becomes yx. You flip the y and x values. Flip the y and x values. So um, d prime would become 5, negative 9. Just flip those values around. Uh, e prime would be 7, negative 9. f would be 10, 0 and g is right at the origin, so it's not going to move at all. So d prime, 5, negative 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 9. Would be right there. 7, negative 9. Right there. And zero and zero zero. So we'll use our line function here. That's what this shape looks like after a reflection over the um, line y equals x. Remember that when you join corresponding vertices. These black lines all meet um, the line of reflection at a 90 degree angle. They're all cut in half by that line of reflection. All right, reflection over the line y equals negative x. Reflection over the line y equals negative x. That's where xy becomes negative y, negative x. So not only do you flip the x and y values, but you also make them opposite of what they were. So 0, 0, you can flip them and make them opposite, but it's still going to be 0, 0. So there's r prime. Uh, these, you flip them. The opposite of 0 is 0. The opposite of 8 is negative 8. So 0, negative 8, that would be um, s prime. Negative 10, negative 10 here. That would be right here. That's t prime and negative 10, negative 2 for u prime. So let's check those. All right, so r prime, s prime, t prime, u prime. That would be what it looks like after reflection across the line y equals negative x. And again, if we join corresponding points with some line segments here, all of those are at a 90 degree angle to the line of reflection, and they're cut in half by the line of reflection. Now this is where it gets a little goofy here. Um, 
what about when we reflect over a line like this? Um, Okay, well, it's two below, so it's going to be two above. There's u prime. And what are its coordinates? Uh, they are at four, three. So that's the easy way to do the answer. Another way to think about it is, obviously, your x value is not going to change because you're reflecting over a horizontal line. I would think of this negative one as, you know, we're reflecting over the line y equals one. So negative one, or how about this, sorry, that one minus two would give us that negative one. So we'll do one plus two to get this three. I think that's the way to look at it. So let's apply that here several times. Um, we're reflecting over a horizontal line. So if we think about it, our x value is not going to change at all. So we'll leave this as 6, 9, and 5. But what's going on with our y values? Um, we're reflecting over the line y equals 1. So if we start with 1, we'd have to add 5 to that to get 6. Start with 1, we'd have to add 8 to... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm doing this wrong. I'm looking at the x values. 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus... 9 is 10. So to come up with the new y values, we'll actually do 1 minus 1 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. 1 minus 9 is negative 8. Let's plot those points and see if they look right. 6, 0 is right there. 9, 0 is right there. And 5, negative 8 is right here. So if we connect those, with some lines to make our new shape. Does that look like a reflection over that red line? Um, if we do black lines to connect them here, oops, connect corresponding points, you can see that those are all cut in half by the line of reflection and they're at a 90 degree angle to the line of reflection. One more, um, if we're reflecting over a vertical line, that means our Y values aren't gonna change. So we'll just go ahead and leave those the same. 0, 0, 8, and 8. But now since we're reflecting, reflecting over the line x equals negative 2, uh, negative 2 plus 0 would give us negative 2. Negative 2 plus 4 would give us 2. Negative 2 plus 7 would give us 5. I'm doing some mental math here. Negative 2 plus 3 would give us one. So to create my new x values, I'm gonna take the negative two, I'm gonna do the opposite of that, subtract zero. That would still be negative two. Negative two, subtract that four. That would give me negative six. Negative two, subtract the seven. That would give me negative nine. And negative two, subtract the three. Instead of adding it, that would give me negative five. Let's plot these points and see if it looks right, see if my rule is working. So negative two, zero is right there. There'd be q prime. Negative six zero would be right there. That'd be r prime. Negative nine eight. Negative nine eight would be right there. That would be s prime. And negative five eight. That would be right there. That would be t prime. Connect those points to make our new shape. And does that look like a good reflection over the, that vertical line right there, x equals negative 2? Um, is that line cut in half and meet the line of reflection at a 90 degree angle? Sure is. What about that one? Yep, it is. So a little bit of math there. You can probably see visually why it works, but there's reflections and finding the coordinates. A little bit tougher when it's not over the x, y axis or over the line y equals x or y equals negative x. Good luck.